Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. Micah has brought with him a vintage Mac that he got from a logging company. Tell us more about it, Micah. It's slow and old. <laughs> <laughs> but it pulls, doesn't it? It pulls pretty good, but it's fun to drive. <laughs> All right, well, that's one truck. We're waiting for Jeeves now. He's coming in. As we make money, I'll probably upgrade it. So. There you go. It'll definitely be worth the upgrade. <laughs> and Javius has arrived in his super-duper Kenworth. Look at you guys are all jazzed out and I don't have anything because I'm not I don't have the levels or the money okay so let's go ahead and look for a job um what do we got here all right so we have our we gotta go get our load I, I've got the load set up for us guys we're taking I think it was food or something well I'll, we'll look again when we get there but we got a bit of a trip ahead of us because we're gonna be going up to Montana from here so doing well Dar Specter things are moving along nicely but anyway, I wanted to get some more episodes of this recorded. So we have them for the YouTube over the next couple weeks. Um, what's that? Oh, it's a, yeah, okay, it is rice, okay. I thought I saw food on there. I see Jay, or I see, uh, hey, what's up, Jay Wah? I see Mr. Rex up ahead with his Freightliner. Uh, Kenworth? Kenworth. <laughs> Freightliner. Just because I can afford the Freightliner doesn't mean I'm going to buy it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure which truck I like better. I kind of like the look of the Kenworth better. It's hard to beat that Kenworth. Yeah. It's really hard. I haven't used that FLB in a long time. Yeah. But I know that I loaded it and used it, bought it once. And I don't know why I didn't use it for very long. Ah, okay. The windows are bigger on this truck by sure. I, I uh, did not. I haven't been on Discord in a little bit. I'll have to check it tonight. Sorry, Dar Specter. I will look again. Hey. <laughs> Almost rear ended you. <laughs> oh, sorry. Stop <laughs> stop sign there. Railroad crossing, it's a yield. I don't think there's any trains that come across this often, but I didn't see anything. You're, why are you upset with expeditions? What did you find out that was bad news? Uh -oh. <laughs> Something's not right. It's oh right, they said there's not going to be any multiplayer to start, which does suck. But it's that's a definite reason for us to keep Snowrunner going. Well, Mike, that's why you didn't buy it. Yeah, that's why I didn't buy it. I'm going to wait till uh, the. The player comes out. Yep, yeah. Hey, what's up, Hodge? Ten four, good buddy. All right, we're pulling got, into. I'm pulling into Walbird here. Plenty of work to do on the regular snow runners. So. That's right. We still got like ten years of content probably coming on that one. <laughs> uh, okay, I got, I'm over there too window down which which uh, are you where Javis is at or next to him? next to him okay I'll wait I will if you hold tight I'll get out of here okay I'll wait uh yes in the future they said that they will be supporting multiplayer it's starting with none and then it will be um they said it will be introduced oh look at that Rocky Mountain doubles. Uh oh, Javius crashed. Defense. Defense. 
defense. How do you get to choose what trailer you're going to use? In the uh, configuration. That's what they gave you, huh? That yeah. works. I so wish you could in game de like detach the pup trailers and rehook them up. That would be cool. Yep. Yeah. To be able to then, to range and it. And then uh, deliver them. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Yep. Or rehitch to them if you need to, you know. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah, I'm excited about expeditions, but I do. There are a couple things I'm a little concerned about, and I definitely haven't pre-ordered it yet. Look at that little Mac. <laughs> this is like landing in uh, at Los Angeles International. Like we had the two runways landing at the same time. stopped I gotta put my parking brake on engine off and button four which is button five okay there we go and I'm loading and go ahead and starting this up electronics on start the engine I think my lights are on already. Yeah. Go ahead, Micah. I'll follow you. Are you sure? Because I'm slow. Yeah, well, that's the whole point. You're going to set the okay. pace. You've got the slow truck. Right, exactly, Jaywa. That's what I, I agree with that. You can put the window up now, by the way. So we're going to make a run up to Montana. I'm hoping that big semi truck isn't coming in here because we need to get out. That's right. Especially when you tip. We rely on each other. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> From one trucker to another. Uh -huh. Oh, this ain't breaking very well. <laughs> it's a little truck for that big load, man. <laughs> I reckon we're going to be a good half an hour getting up the entrance ramp. <laughs> um, I do not have the chat up, so if anything I can gets directed my way, can you pass it on? I sure will. So we're getting on 84 East. 21 North. Or this is just 84 East. I think we're on 21 North. Can I pass Mike on the on ramp? <laughs> if you must. That's right, Longer. That's right. Hey, what's up, Frode? Welcome back. Good to see you again tonight. I mean, that was not a bad. That wasn't bad there. Your acceleration was pretty good, Micah. Well, I'm still only going 33 miles an hour. Yeah, well, I'm only going 34, so <laughs> I'm I'm actually losing you guys. I I misshifted coming up the ramp, so now I'm like, I'll get there, but I'm at a deficit right now. Ugh. Don't worry. I'm just at hitting 35 now. But I've got my own trailer. How, so how much did you guys make for this job? Do you remember? I have no idea. I didn't look. Oh, I just I cut a cop car. But it was better than I thought it was going to be. I've got 17k, I think, coming in for this. I'm just curious if the jobs are the same for the, the non-owners. Yeah. 
Well, we, I, we get paid less per mile or per... Yeah, but you got bigger mile. loads than I do, so you might still make out right. in the end. I got to chose a smaller trailer. I would have. Ah, you're doing fine, though. I mean, we're we're doing good. Bigger trailer, I would have. <laughs> that guy's not gonna like me, but I'm cutting in. There we go. Thanks, bud. Oh, he stopped all the way. Oops. <laughs> Roger that. Close the back door there. Ten four, good buddy. <laughs> Once we start going to Nebraska and things like that, this truck will be just fine. Nebraska, <laughs> that's not, <laughs> yeah. Cornfields and cornfields. That's right. If I'm heading east, I'll put a sail up. That'll help me get going. Right. <laughs> to use the jet stream to your advantage. Heck yeah. Trucks and the jet stream. 55, Micah. Am I what? You gonna set it at 55? Eh, what do, are we, uh. Is this external contracts? Yes. I think so, yeah. Well, I think if we're all together, I'll try to. I'll try to go all the way to 65. Oh, wow. Okay. Because we're at 60 now. Yeah, we, we're all together. Yeah. I'd say. Oh, Javius! <laughs> well, I'll I'd tell you what, I'll try to keep it around 60. Okay, I'd say 60 on the freeway. Uh, try to go like five under on the back roads. That's probably the best way to do it. So yeah. like if it's if it's if it's 55, go 50. If it's 45, go go 40. But here's the thing: it takes me so long to get up to speed. You might yeah. be like, well, as fast as you can go, Micah. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I don't mind this. That's really trucks, you know. I mean that. They're not meant for speed. They're meant for delivery. This one well, the new ones are, but speed, that's for sure. new trucks are new trucks are are tough and fast. These trucks not so much. They really were not meant to go over. Well, as you can see on the speedometer of this one, I'm 55. It's really the the happy speed of this truck. That's where it was meant to roll. I, I was going 60, now I'm doing 55. Because we're going uphill, yeah. Yep. I mean, I'm losing speed, too, and i got a small trailer. I'm catching him. Yep, it's not a race car. It's a truck. <laughs> this is a race truck. This is a race truck? Oh, yeah. Compared to everything else, yeah. JV says, got the power! Do, 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 Especially do. Especially... If we did, if it's Bob Dale, thing is a rocket ship without a trailer. <laughs> Almost back up to sixty. Your boyfriend told you he's looking to get a job out Toledo way. Oh yeah. South Bend and Fort Wayne. There you go. In left lane. So I'm gonna post the reviews going up right now, right off all it'll it'll come out tonight. Um it's really bad, but I like it. <laughs> I can't help it. It's a stupid game, but it does do a really good job of capturing that like snowy area feel, and I like that. I know, I was kidding. I was kidding, JC. <laughs> no, I, can't I mean, BF video. usually means boyfriend, doesn't it? <laughs> but I guess BFF means best friend forever, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. There's a car beside you, Micah. I know. I'm waiting for him. I know, Jason. I know. I know. I was just joking with you, JC. Little, little modern humor there. <laughs> It's a review for Snow Plow Simulator. I haven't rolled this truck yet. That's the <laughs> I haven't crashed in a long time. Nah, knock on wood. It's been a long time since I've had an on-the-road crash in, in 
back like in major convoy times when like big tall man's internet would kill us all. <laughs> oh gosh, yeah. His truck would disappear and reappear. Um, I don't. Right. Yes. <laughs> He'd like disappear and reappear like right in front of you, and it's like. <laughs> Um, so no, I have not rolled the truck in a while. <laughs> right, you said yeah. If I was a f That's a car. That's all right. Dance for Pedro. Um. So no, it's not a demo. It's actually a full release game. And basically, what you do is you get a tractor and you get a pickup truck and with no plow, but eventually you can add a plow to it when you have the money. And you have to upgrade your clothing, and you have to, up, like, take food with you, and you have to upgrade the tractor. Uh, and uh, actually, the tractor doesn't get upgraded. Uh, you get a snowblower, and you go around in this neighborhood and, and clear out people's houses. And eventually, you get contracts with businesses, and you start to you have to clear their parking lots. And it's actually a pretty relaxing, enjoyable game. I actually like it. A big uh, map, or...? Yeah, it's a pretty decently large map, and it's it's all made with the same engine that they make House Flipper with. You know, it's like that kind of like every cheap game out there is made with the same engine. <laughs> hey, thank you for the Prime subscription, Charlotte. I really appreciate it. Sounds Chart kind of lore. like something that came from uh, Lawnmower Simulator. People. It does, but it's weird. Like I. I liked Lawnmower Simulator okay. I played it once. I can actually see myself going back and playing the Snowplow Simulator. And I think what it is is having grown up here in, in northeastern Ohio, I came back from the Ice Age era where, you know, we had snowstorms that would, you know, put four, four foot of snow on the ground. And there was something cozy about, like, my grandpa bringing in a bunch of firewood and us having like hot cocoa and sitting around the fire and looking out that those those um you know those dark winter nights and the snow was coming down and you know the christmas tree was up and it just it it brings me back to those childhood memories and i think that the game does a really good job with that environment i, I don't know why it's good but i'm out there and i actually can feel cold and i'm you know drinking coffee to stay warm and it it's it really did a good job with that. So I'm like, I like this game. I, I can see myself playing it. But yeah, it's made with the same engine that all the Playway games. Is it the Unity engine or whatever it is they use? I'm not sure. But it, it's, it works. It, it works well. I think it's the Quake engine that it uses. <laughs> that is true, Big Tall Man. Or at least entertaining. I don't know about funny. Frustrating. Oh, this is real pretty country where we're at. 60? 60. Okay. I'm guessing. I don't have my uh, thing up in my... <laughs> yeah, I tried... I mean, I liked, I liked the lawnmower sim too, but I, like I said, I only did it for the video and I never played it again. I can see myself going back and playing Snowplow Simulator just because, like on a snowy night here, after I'm done actually plowing the snow... I can see coming inside and having a cup of hot cocoa and playing that game and just feeling cozy. You gotta write the devs and tell them they need to put a mission in there for a little old lady who gives you a candy bar when you get done plowing. <laughs> gives you a cup of hot cocoa. The well, name yeah, of the title is... When I was a kid, that's uh, we had an old lady in our neighborhood. I used to go to her and she'd give me like a little crunch bar. Oh, that's so bar. cute. Yeah. The name of the game is called Snowplow Simulator. Uh, first snow. <laughs> this is something. Obviously, they're planning on sequels. <laughs> and then it has a little side quest in there that I haven't figured out yet. Obviously, I think you have to go through the whole game to get it. You're trying to track the Yeti, so you're trying to find the abominable snowman. Um, he's somewhere out there in the woods, so you can explore the map and try to find hints to find the snow, the the abominable snowman. So that's also in the game. There you go, big tall man. I'm now I'm wireless now. That's where the fun comes in. Uh, I'm not sure about where our new digs are, if we'll even have internet. But we actually found a we actually found a bunch of properties now that have decent acreage. They actually have 
normal homes already built <laughs> on the property. They have water, sewer. They have the ability to get internet. So right. I think we'll f- take something like that if we can afford it. Can afford it. Um, and when I say afford, I mean purchase. <laughs> Stay in the right lane. Okay, I'm staying over. Okay. I'm not talking about taking a loan out. I'm We're done with loans. I'm going to own it. Even if it's little, I want to own it. Well, I'm. I hope not, big tall man. But that might happen. I don't. You know, if there's nothing out there, we might have to go with Starlink or something like that. Um, but that's like a last resort. I would, if there's if there's any way to get cable or fiber, we're definitely uh, going to do lane. that. Middle lane, okay. Uh, I'll try to close the back door here. I got a car coming up. Actually, we might be left. There we go. Okay. They they probably will both go, but you never know. How does it look, Micah? Left lane. Left, all the way left? Okay. Closing the back door. Shut. We're good. I got to add some more stiffness to this truck. <laughs> right, and that might be what happens too, Jay. Well, I don't know. I mean, it just depends. It depends on how much I get for this house and how much we can afford, you know what I mean, and what's out there when we go to do it. But the good news is there's lots to pick from, and it's all over the place. We could get, like, a really scary, like, old meth house <laughs> for real cheap and, like, try to piece it back together or hopefully something a little bit more. Whoa! Oh, had a little accident there, Javes. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. There, there was a guy on the in that lane over there when you came across. Uh, I couldn't see him in the mirror. It okay. Internet glitch. I tell you. Exactly, Jay. What well, wouldn't be built? Oh, good. How wonderful it must have been back in the old days of just getting an old Mack truck like this and see the see the country. Yep. Right, exactly, Jay. Wa. I mean, part of that would be like it wouldn't be too long. We looked at the delivery times on like double wide trailers right now are about six weeks, so it wouldn't be horrible if we had to have one built and wait for it. But or prefabs, I guess you call them now, but. Well, we're trying to find somewhere that has a land and already has, like, barns and stuff. So then we'll own the barn and no one can take it away. And my wife can have her horses and actually run a business out of it. So when you say ready to move homes, what do you mean? Raccoon. Yeah, we have that up here, too. <laughs> We got rac- like, you got lots of raccoons up here. We, we have lots of possums up here too. They're they're all over. Well, the whole thing is I don't want to be too far away because I I'd, I'd still like to see my kids once in a while. So if I go somewhere like Louisiana, and that's one of the things why we decided not to do like Arizona, New Mexico. I really want to, but I still got kids I need to visit. You know. Um. I can't. I just can't go that far. Now, this is the one reason why I travel at slower speeds, because then you don't get into these knots of traffic like this. We're not going fast. <laughs> <laughs> the speed We're, is 70, and I'm just going 60. The traffic seems to go about 60. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I was talking about too, Hodge, right, they're way less expensive, <laughs> prefab sounds too cheap, that's so funny, we want it to sound posh, uh, yes, uh, carefully designed houses that are delivered in one piece, that's what we meant, <laughs> ooh, that's cool, the Charcaster, that's like Ryan, his, his middle name is Lloyd, after my great-grandfather, and uh, so his he calls his guitar the Lloyd Caster. <laughs> he even made a st- like a custom sticker that says Lloyd Caster on it, like in the Fender in the Fender font. 
My wife has those cricket printers. You can make pretty much anything, like label wise. You can make some cool stuff. You can make like stickers and transfers and stuff like that. We'll probably, if I now that we have some time, once this is all over with, and we hopefully have some time to settle down, uh, I will probably start offering merch that we make there. Because I've got like a, I've got a laser cutter, I've got a uh, a 3D printer, I've got. Um, you know, she bought all this stuff, um, and so we could we could make product and sell it for you guys, like custom stuff that's d based around the channel. I think that'd be a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, we have a cricket, we have a cricket printer, and she's got the dogs ate the cord though, so I got to buy a new cord. And she got like one of the cricket, like it prints on the mugs and stuff like that, so we can do that. But we never use them. There's, that's still in the box. That hasn't even been opened yet. So yeah, so I was thinking like some kind of. Chapman tractor or something like that. We'll we'll have fun with it. Maybe we could make a model of my truck here in the game. Yep. Oh, we just got something in. Hang on, what was that? Or was that us paying something? Oh, I got forty three thousand dollars. My money is going up. That's good news. Stop! 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 Stopping. Okay, slowing down. And I gotta go in. Okay. All right, we're stopping. Uh. Oh, shiz. Oh, wow, we are stopped. Come on. Go on. Here's the problem with the Logitech. Once again, this is my complaint with these Logitech boxes. Do you see how many times I had to press that button to get these lights to come on because it kept double pressing? That's a big problem. Uh, I guess they don't make them anymore anyway, so it doesn't matter. But I've still got one more brand new one sitting in a box. My wife bought one for herself and never used it, so... When this one kicks the bucket, I'll pull that one out, and then I'll attempt to find something else when this one no longer works. I really love the button box, but it just, <laughs> it's faulty. Okay, now we're picking up speed. <laughs> I've seen other people that play this game have a... A different, it's a more like specifically like a truck. four truck sim, yeah. <clears throat> but that's a few hundred dollars, yeah. It's crazy expensive. Correct, Jaywa. The Logitech side panel. <laughs> That's a question for Ryan. Does it already have the holes drilled? And if the holes are already drilled, then it doesn't really matter. You could do the neck or the bridge, whichever you want to do. You're going to probably have to do some shimming, and you probably will when you're done. You're still probably going to have to get at least one set up by a professional so that it, because they may have to shim the neck. Um, they usually don't just work right away um, if the pocket's all worn out or whatever. So, yeah, she's yelling at the dogs. <laughs> It's niche. Okay, so that makes it life a little bit easier. Hopefully things will just line up. So. It's almost like a racetrack back here. I know, this is like a serious truck stop. Look at all these trucks coming in off the freeway and stuff. I'm surprised... Stupid that they make us get off the freeway, though, but well, I guess I'm sure <laughs> that this actually exists. Well, you know, to, to, to save money, you know, instead of having to build two of these, one on each side, they just build one and then make it's probably cheaper to build roads than it is to build two facilities. There's some kind of oh, there's a 80, uh, spring going on out there. Five, five. That's your weight, 87,550. I mean, that's as heavy as the trucks get. Your the trucks doing your truck is doing fine pulling that. <laughs> that's awesome. I didn't know there were any squires made in Mexico. I'm gonna be embarrassingly lighter than you. You guys are, give me some time to catch up too. Don't go too fast because I'm like a truck behind you. So some guy pulled in between us while I was in. 
72 What's up, QB Austin? And okay, I, I'm catching up. We got this. There we go. <laughs> okay, I mean that's how much it's funny. That's how much new American made ones cost from Warmoth. They're from well, they start there, then they go up to like two, three hundred dollars. But that's with the finish and everything. It could be Indonesian. Usually the Squire stuff is built overseas, so. Hang on, let's see. Do you get it? Let's see. When you get a destination now, you can go your own route. I mean, you can go your own route if you want. Usually there's not much other than the route that they give you. Um, so you'll end up taking most of the roads the same way. But there might be some back roads that you cut through or whatever to get to the same place. You can also pre-program the GPS to go a different route by going into the map am, uh, and clicking on it. 36 miles. Oh, we're that close? Mm hmm Look at that. Very nice. As long as the wood is good, it's all good. Yeah, so if you go into the map and you go into the map before you leave, you can click where you want it to go and it'll change the route. But sometimes if you get off the route, then it'll switch it back to the shortest route. And so it doesn't always work great, but it doesn't there is no scenic setting, but you can have uh, shortest or fastest, I think are the two that you get to choose from. Oh, that stinks, dude. Uh, look off to your right when you come over, uh, when you go around the corner. Oh, that cool bridge? No, before the bridge. Oh, look at that, yeah. There's a valley down there. That's cool. And that train is, that's part of that train, is, I think. Oh, no, maybe not. There's a road over there, too. Oh, got a slow moving Camaro here between us. What are you doing, dude? Jay Wall wants to know how you're doing tonight, Mr. Micah. Oh, God. I'm doing pretty good. Doing good. Come on behind the wheel of a Mac. I gotta be doing good. <laughs> the R series. How come? I wonder if these guys. Hauled this much Lima. Back in the old day. I, I mean, some. Those, I don't think those Macs were ever really designed for. Open no. Open. Nope. I think those, the, the, the oh, R was more about. They did. You're right. But they were more like construction type trucks. They're pulling dump trucks and stuff yeah. like that. He dump heavy trucks. stuff though. They were pulling heavy stuff. Yeah. Like dump trailers and stuff, but it. Logging trailers, that kind of stuff. They really weren't meant for over the road, like long. That's why they have no sleeper cab and stuff. I don't think they I even think made a sleeper cab for that truck. I think maybe the. Was there a super version? There was another version of the Mac R, Super Liner. Okay. I think that was the one that was designed more for the over the road. Then yeah, the Superliner, yeah. The, the R. Let's see if we have to weigh again. Nope, apparently not. I hope not. Jeez, it's twice in one state. No, we just crossed into Montana. Oh, okay. That's why there's that. The Welcome Center. Good silage trucks. There you go. Uh-oh. Are you getting over, Javius? Well, I 
think it needs to get over. Oh, okay. After, after that white car, my God, you could move over. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> my luck, we're going to be getting off up here. Oh, you almost killed me, Javis. <laughs> There was a car underneath you when you pulled over and you slammed you sent him right into my path. <laughs> yeah, I was on I was on two wheels there. <laughs> I was watching the, the mirror the whole time. It must be it must be uh uh internet issue. <laughs> or some crappy mirror FOV. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I almost did have a bad round on the toilet there <laughs> without being on the toilet. That was a that was a little tipsy situation there. That was close, yeah. That was real close. Oh well, Mike, it doesn't look like you're gonna be able to pass that guy. Oh I am now, I'm slowly gaining on him now. Rock the boat. No, you guys can go ahead. It's fine. I'll catch up. Yes, we have a laser. My, Moni bought a laser engraver. I used it a couple times. I made a, a little engraving of a Stratocaster. <laughs> it was fun. But I don't... It, I, I'm not sure what to do with it yet. Like, you can cut pieces of wood out and make, like, 3D things, and it's pretty cool. Let's see, it's, it is usually a turn you attempt that from what I remember. Okay. <laughs> we do have Waffle I actually have a Waffle House in Medina where I live. <laughs> I never go there because the, when you sit down, you stick to the counter. But <laughs> I've been there once, and I stuck to the counter, and I'm like, I'm never coming here again. This is gross. Yeah, it should be able to, 44. It does metal. It's like a it's like a mid-level laser, so you can do some pretty serious stuff with it. Waffle House is one of those places that I only go to when I'm in the south. Yeah. Burnt pancakes. <laughs> yeah, Cleveland's well, not like, don't yeah, come now. Don't come to Cleveland now. Cut, wait, wait until like June or July, when it's nice and it's it's warm and beautiful. Because Cleveland is absolutely gorgeous in the and stunning in the summer. It's a beautiful place. It's like ni nicer than Florida because we don't have all the apartment complexes all along the, the lakefront. Um, but it's it is brutal in the winter. It's just cold wind all the time and. All right, 44, that sounds good. I still think the best one was that bird falling out of the tree, 44. <laughs> I put that ca the caption. <laughs> it's a photo of my life. <laughs> well, you guys wanted to see me flip, and you almost did. <laughs> I did catch it, but man, it was. Whew. Dayton is interesting. You got the you got the Air Force Museum. It has that going for it, and then the rest of it's just like a big ghetto. <laughs> no offense, Dayton, but oh. Wow, well, you don't like Dayton. You don't like Akron. No, I like Akron. Akron's, we call it Crackron because it's a bad town, but Akron's got some cool stuff. They've got a really cool art museum. They have like three, they, it's kind of funny because it's got like three skyscrapers, so it's it's a weird look. It's almost like Albany, like how Albany is, like where you have just like a couple like really big buildings. Um, no, I, I like Akron, actually. The, Akron's got kind of a hopping music scene. They've got an insomnia cookies. <laughs> you know, Albany, New York. Okay. Yeah, it's Albany, New York. It's kind of like that. Akron's kind of like Albany. 
Albany's a little bit bigger, but it's similar feeling. There's the Cuyahoga Valley right next to it, so it's pretty. Akron is pretty, and it's it's, but it is not safe necessarily. Oh, you got We're just me. stay on the highway, Arthur. It's too late. I'm already off. <laughs> Yeah, my GPS says to get off here too. That's that's shortest route right there. Um, Why don't we just pick dumbest route? Dumbest route. Hey, but at least we got to see the sign for Silver Bow. We. I was going good too. You know how long it's gonna take me to get back up that street again? <laughs> well, at least yes. I caught up to you guys. Feel um, free to push, Javius. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what were we talking about? I push bar on the front, I would. You're comparing the state capital of New York to Cracker. Yeah, about the same size. And they, it's the same feel, you know what I mean? Like, it's not a big city. That's all I'm getting at. doesn't mean that one's nicer than the other or not. That's not what I'm saying. But well, Akron's I'm actually. Up for all, I'm not standing up for Albany. We freaking call it Smallbany for a reason. Smallbany. <laughs> no, but seriously, like Akron's got. They got like uh, in the summer they have the locks, and they have concerts down there. They got the Akron Rubber Ducks. It's like a cheap way to go see baseball. And it's a really nice off. stadium with free parking. They have this cool Skyway walkway thing that goes between all the buildings. So you park at the parking garage at the end of town, and you can get to every single building in town without going outside. It goes through several different like plazas that have like little little malls in them and stuff. Like it's just it's it's a unique city. Um, definitely a dead city, but <laughs> it's unique. It also has the Goodyear hangar, which is this giant hangar for the Goodyear blimp. They don't use it anymore, but they used to. It's like it was built like pre World War Two. So it's this giant monolithic building that, like, it's just, it's really cool. Um, so anyway, there's some neat stuff in Akron. Um, Canton's like that, too. Canton's Deadsville. But it's a, it's a pretty neat town, too. But but Cleveland is like a hopping place. We've got the casinos down there. There's always tons of people. Uh, people are living down there now. So it's like, it's just, it's a, it's a pretty hopping place. But it, it is brutal in the winter. It's not great. So... But downtown Cleveland's pretty cool. And if you get a chance, you go to the Erie Islands. The islands are beautiful. Kelly's Island and Putin Bay and all that stuff. It's real neat. Those are about an hour away. Yeah, but, well, we but got... But Dayton. <laughs> we got Ellis Island and Rikers Island. Well, yeah. That's because you guys are on the ocean. No, Rikers Island is New York City's prison. Oh, <laughs> Um, yeah. It's like we're staying right. Okay. Yeah, Helen's Billings. Helena. In Billings, Montana. Yeah, I, I, uh... Anyway. Yeah, Dayton's not like that. I've been through Dayton several times. I've worked in Dayton for a couple of weeks. It is a pothole in the, the middle the lower middle of Ohio. It's like somebody shot a hole through Ohio. And it's just bad. Except for the Air Force Base and the museum, it's really cool. But the rest of Dayton is just gross. It's kind of funny because it's like, that's the place where, I don't know if you guys remember my old, Dayton gets screwed again. It's back when I used to work in Sarcom and we were we were using, it, the company was located in Columbus, but we I worked at the Cleveland branch and they had branches all over the country. All right, but, we're going to uh, off here at Helena. Helena. Um, and uh, anyway, so <laughs> I'll tell the story again. But we went to do this migration for email, and we were testing it out on Dayton. They were the first one that we did. And, of course, it, something didn't go right, and the manager was this older, like, mid-50s lady, uh, and she, she just flipped her wig, and she... And I just, I, we, my, my friend Todd and I were working in the closet, like, like putting in new cables and stuff for the internet. And she, uh, she's like, she goes, Dayton gets screwed again. <laughs> I just, I see my boss go running. <laughs> He's like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
And uh, he took care of it. They fixed everything up. She was happy by the time we left, but <laughs> that's what you get when you're uh, when you're a test bed. <laughs> Poor Dayton. But yeah, it was. It's not a great town. Cincinnati is cool, but Dayton's just. I don't know. It's kind of big. Now, if you want cool in Ohio, Chillicothe is cool. That's south of uh, Columbus. We actually we're looking at houses down there. There's a couple houses available that are in our price range that are near near Chillicothe, not in Chillicothe, but now why do you like Chillicothe? Crap. I don't know. I haven't been there since the early '60s, but I was born there, so. Oh, well, then it is cool. Whoops, the wrong button. Mike needs push. Thank you. <laughs> if I could do it without destroying my truck, I would. That's right. I'm not old yet. I'm just middle aged. <laughs> hey, Cameo. I just saw the comment, by the way. Welcome to I'm the channel. Old. I'm not old. I'm vintage. Vintage. There you go. Why? We've got you covered. If it, 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 we're like buffers. If if Micah runs into something, you're safe. If I get run into by something, you're safe. So if Micah runs into something, I'm gonna run into Micah. Thank like, you. <laughs> right. Why are all these cars going so slow? Get going. <laughs> I can't stop. Do you want me to get over? No, both lanes are full up here. I've got the lanes blocked behind us if you need to get over. Alright. It's the speed limit's dropping to 70, so we have to drive 40. <laughs> you jerk. Well, he slowed down now? <laughs> pull right in front of me. Uh, I'm just going to hold here. And I'm, I'm holding both lanes off. Yeah. 55. I would not consider myself old, but I feel old. Oh, sure, now you guys are going to leave. Fine. Oh, accelerate. Mike said we could go 55. That's the wrong button, Arthur. There we go. I can't drive. 55. Oh, that Jake brake sounds awesome. Yeah, the, the that uh, Mac has some really good sounds to it. What's happening, Patchwork? He said, "You old homie, your back is my my knees are pushing like eighty <laughs> five." Slowing it down. Clear, so You're clear. You can always ask, and I'll let you know what the situation is. <laughs> We're just like sending cars flying my way, don't you? Uh, it's not, it's not, no, I just like sending cars flying. Okay. <laughs> no Ooh, that'd be fun. Pay work. Yeah, my knees are going to definitely go. I mean, they're already going. My knees and ankles. And it's mostly because of the weddings. I'm on, you know, it's like those, they're pretty brutal. Because you're up and down and up and down and up and down. It's like being, doing calisthenics when you're fat. <sighs> but even my skinny friend who does weddings, he had to have his knees. He's like nearing 60 and he had to have his knees replaced. So, oh, yeah, true that. I think some of your trucks do, but 
They don't have any engine brakes, huh? I know that the, they have the retarders on the transmission. Supposedly, in this game, these trucks do, too. I don't know if they do in America, I, in real life in America, except for maybe on the automatic trucks. But that's also because you have automatic trucks, Kaleem. That's probably why they don't have the Jake brakes. That's something that goes with a manual transmission, um, since most European trucks are, are automatic. They would not have them. They would have a retarder instead. We used to have them, but then we got woke, and we can't use that word anymore. Okay. <laughs> what, Jake Briggs? No, no. retard or retarded. Uh, oh. <laughs> it just means slow. That's all it means. <laughs> people people don't think. Transmission slowy downies. <laughs> it just means slow, that's all. I remember, do you guys remember, was it Brian Regan when he's talking about the walkie-talkie? He's like, how do we come? How do we come up with that name? <laughs> you call it, you call it like the, the the machine gun, the whammy kablooey. <laughs> well, I'm sure the British had the had the invention first. Yeah, that's probably where it came from. Yeah. Yep. And, and then we're like, oh, we can't call it what they call it, so we'll come up with something stupid. <laughs> that's not. I think they probably called it the knowing the British, they probably called it the walkie talkie. He's like, here, you walkie and you talkie. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Over here we have the Apache helicopter, and here's my walkie talkie. Are you just going for it, or we got a red? We're going for it. Oh, lordy. I misshifted, and now I'm stuck. I'm going anyway. As soon as these cars go, I'm going to go. There's no reason why we don't have a flashing, flashing green there. Or flashing red. Oh, come on. What is going on? Yeah, I feel like that when I play my Les Paul at church. If we have more than five songs, I'm like, I'm doomed. If I play my Strat, it's fine, because the Strat weighs about half of what the Les Paul weighs. But after two services, the Les Paul gets a little bit heavy. So that thing weighs, it's like a tank guitar weighs so much that is a good looking truck Javes I wish mine looked that good yeah. it looks good when it's fully upgraded I did not I, ne I never go I'm s I am don't go in Discord very often, guys. More likely if you post stuff on my Facebook page, like on the gamer page, that's usually where I see stuff. Um I don't I just I don't like I don't go on Discord aside from when we're when we're recording. Sometimes I do. Like I try to check it because people do post things there and they're like, hey, check this out, and I, then I'll go check it out. But it's so rare that I go into Discord just to do things. Like I don't it's either like we're recording or I'm not in Discord. Discord stalker, no, but I do check the Facebook page because that's on Facebook. It comes up on my phone, and and I see it. So, some kind of interchange going on here with the trains. Little yard down there. Well, Arthur, I did hear a good one today. I read a good one today. <laughs> What's that? Just because you can't see the cage doesn't mean you're free. That's <laughs> it's the story of my life. <laughs> that was like the picture that's what I'm talking about. I said, um, 44 posted a picture of a bird falling out of the tree upside down. <laughs> like, I don't know how he caught that, but it, I think the bird was about to transition into flight. But in the picture, it just looks like he's like free falling from the branch. And I'm like, that's my life right now. <laughs> that's exactly how I feel. Hang on, Mike. Can you scoot on through, bud? You're in my parking zone. It's like a friend zone, but you get squished. There you go. The old trucks are fun. I like them better than the new trucks. I only got 17. I mean, that's about what I'm supposed to get, so that's not bad. It's the same price, really. I might actually be getting less than that. 
increase in cargo offset the decrease in cost. Yeah. Price per whatever. Does this trailer look too big for this truck? No. No, not at all. This is a 43. Uh, I mean, it's it's. I think I think you're at your max until you get uh, uh, doubles on the back of your. Truck. Right. Crap! I overshot it. I turned the wrong way. Well, I'm gonna kind of straighten out here. It was a cute little bird. So uh, that sounds good, Cameo. Hardware. Yes, sir. In the navigation mode, you have fast, shortest, and small roads. What's your set on, Micah? Because we've mine followed him. Mine? Yeah. Uh, shortest. Okay, so I must be set on shortest too. So probably put on best. No, just do shortest. That's fine. It's so rare that that happens, but it does happen occasionally. I want to put on best. That way. Okay. Because I don't want to. I don't want to get off just to get back on again. That's ridiculous. Uh, let's see. Bottom here. Where's the stiffness? Press the following key to unload the trailer. Hey, Tay. Tay Tay. -tay. All, right. All right, we delivered some rice. Now I made, yeah, okay, I made 19297 so a $2,000 bonus for having my own trailer, even though I pulled less weight. So that's pretty good. And I can go up a level now. I'm assigned a skill point. I'm just finishing off the hazardous cargo stuff. Oops. <laughs> Sounds like the baby's fussing out. You guys can hear that. Ladies and gentlemen watching on YouTube, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We had fun trucking. And now we're going to start another day and another video. Have a good night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up. Always help. You guys want to say bye? Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hi, Steve-O. All right, guys. We'll see you in a little bit.